Today, we're going to be taking a look at the percent point function in Python. We're going to be going over a few different libraries like NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib. I believe there's five examples in total. With this last example, we take a look at a graph. But before we do jump into the Python and code, I do want to go over a little bit more background information about the PPF. Okay, so let's take a look a little bit more information about the percent point function. This will also be known as your PPF. I'd rather say PPF than percent point function over and over again. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of this tutorial. Um, you will see this represented as the quantile function or the inverse cumulative distribution function. And well, that's because it's the opposite of the CDF, which I've already covered in another video, but uh, our CDF essentially has an input of a value and then you get the decimal probability. Well, with our PPF, you input in a decimal probability and then you get the output of a value which is literally the same thing as what you do with your quantile function. Now, I do have a video on the channel talking about the quantile function and more specifically quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. So if you wanna learn a lot more about quantiles, I'd recommend checking out this video. Although this is essentially the same with the PPF, um, but we're not gonna jump into those three different terms really that much in this video. Um, okay, the other side of things to, bring up really quick is if you look at the graph to the, the right side of the screen, this is the inverse graph of the CDF. So you have cumulative probability on the X axis where data values is on the Y. If you looked at the CDF, those were flipped. So essentially how you can read this, if you go to 0 0.4, you can see that it lines up with a value less than zero. Let's say it's like negative 0 0.2. Well, based off of that graph, you can infer that 40% of the values are gonna be at negative 0 0.2 or less, right? And there's a few things that you could take a look at with this, right? You could go over here and you could take a look at all the values to the left. You could do a little bit of math and find all the values to right of a specific point, or you could technically find ranges. And that's what I have on this next slide, right? By default, you can get the at percentage or lower, just to use the PPF with the decimal you can find a range of values with your lower and upper, or you can find at X or higher. So one minus decimal, for, say for example, you wanna find the top 25%, you do the PPF of 0 0.75. And uh, just to go over one more thing over here with some of the cumulative probabilities. So if you wanna take a look at a probability of zero to 0 0.2, the PPF would be two. If you wanna look at 0 0.2 to 0 0.6, your PPF would be three. 0.6 to 0 0.8, five, and then 0 0.8 to one would be seven. And that's based off of here, right? So we have five values and you can see one of the values here is two. So that's why we have zero to two, right? 20% of the values are two or less. Uh, if you go to our three over here, right? The first three values are here, right? Two, three, and three. And that's why we can go from anywhere from 0 0.2 all the way to 0 0.6. Our five, right? That is our fourth. So we know 80% of the values are five or less, right? And then lastly, seven is after five, so 0 0.821. So again, opposite of the CDF, just think about it like that. And uh, we're gonna go over a bunch of examples in Python right now. So follow along and uh, let's learn. Okay, so let's start by bringing in some imports. So import numpy as np from scipy.stats, import in norm, and then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt on those three over here, and let's get started. So first we're gonna create our normal distribution over here. So np.random, that seed I'm just gonna say is 17. Then what I'm gonna do is set up our mean equals zero, std d equals one, and then size equals 1,000. And I've been doing these same exact numbers the entire series. Okay, now let's generate our data. So data equals np.random. The normal location equals mean, then scale equals standard deviation, 
And then next we're gonna say size equals size nuts. And we're gonna keep moving forward. All right, let's take a look at example number one. And for example number one, we're gonna take a look at the lowest 20% of values. So we're gonna say PPF, we're gonna say 20 equals norm dot PPF. And then inside over here, we're gonna say 0 0.2. We're gonna say location equals data dot mean. And then scale equals data dot STD. And what this will do is it'll give us our value. So if we print this out, print, we know the value of negative 0 0.83. Anything less than that, we have a 20% probability uh, that'll be there in our distribution. Okay, now let's take a look at the lowest 70%. So you can literally just go over here, change this up to 70, right, 0 0.7. So if we wanna find the probability, a number is this or lower, it's 70% chance. And uh, let's see, print out, get our PPF 70. So 70% 70 of the values are gonna be 0 0.555 or less. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. All you have to do, norm.ppf, insert this decimal, which is your percentage, put in your mean, put in your standard deviation. Let's take a look at example two. So example two is find the data points between 25 and 50%. So the way they do that is you'll set up PPF twice. So we're gonna do PPF 25 and then we'll do PPF 50. And literally you can just copy over what we did, right? So just change up these numbers a little bit. And like that, great. And you know, you could have a nice fancy print statement if you want, or we can just print out both of these and just take a look at this over here. All right, so negative 0 0.66, the value has to be greater than that. It'd be between 25 and 50%, and then print out PPF 50. So 0 0.02. So the value is between 25 and 50% of the data, right? You're gonna have 0 0.02. Awesome. Now let's take a look at example three, which is the top 20%. So we'll go over here, example three, top 20% of values. And the way we're gonna do that is gonna do PPF top 20, right? Equals norm dot PPF. And you're gonna inverse this because we're looking at the top 20%. So one minus 0 0.2. Then you'll do over here, location data dot mean, like that. And then scale, same thing we've been doing this entire video, data dot std, like that, right? And if we print this out, you have to have 20, right? I don't know why I have, oh, well, I put a comment here. I'm like, why did I get that wrong answer? Uh, 0.878. So, Two ways you can interpret this 8.878, right? 80% of the values are gonna be at 0.878 or lower, or 20% of values are gonna be greater than 0.878 in this normal distribution. Now, I showed you how we can do this essentially in a multiple different ways through SciPy, but what I wanna do now is show you how we can do this in NumPy. So example four, we're gonna look at NumPy, and this is through percentiles, right? And as I mentioned, percentiles, essentially the same thing that we've been doing with our PPF. So we wanna do PPF of 75. We'll say PPF equals 75 over here, equals np.percentile, like that. And then pass in your data, and then pass in 75. Uh, this time, it's not a decimal, you just pass in 75, right? And uh, we just print this out, prints, can see 0 0.68, right? And I don't remember if we did 75 or not. We did 70. Let me let me change this up to 70, right? So I'll just rerun this really quick for you guys for 70. And PPF of 70, 0 0.554. If we go up over here to 70, right? 0 0.555. So 
a little bit different, but we're essentially really, really close. Um, but this is how you can do this in NumPy. Now, a few different things to mention. I did have a video talking about percentiles where we can take a look at your percentile. You can take a decile and also quartile. Um, quartile, think of it in 25% increments, decile every 10% and percentile every 1%, right? So uh, by using np.percentile, you can go anywhere from one to 99, just a little bit different. Okay. And lastly, let's graph this out. So I'm gonna say example five over here. So example five, we're gonna graph in matplotlib, matplotlib. And this is gonna be the same graph that I showed you guys in that PowerPoint in the beginning. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna sort our data. So sorted data equals np.sort, pass in our data. Then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get our cumulative probabilities. So cumulative probabilities equals np.line space. And then inside over here, we'll have zero of one length of our sorted data. I apologize for this getting in the way. And then we'll say endpoint equals false. And I'll just have to check my code really quick because this kept getting in the way. Cumulative probabilities equals np space zero one length of sorted data endpoint false over here. I think that should be good. And then what we're gonna do next is plot this. So we'll say plt dot plot. Then we're gonna have our cumulative probabilities first, then our sorted data. Set a marker, marker equals that. Line style, none, label equals PPF. Then set our title, plt.title. We'll say PPF of normally distributed data. Then plt.x label. Then we'll go over here and say cumulative probability. probability, then plt.y label. Inside over here, we'll say data values. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is plt.legend, so legend that, then set up our grid, plt.grid, and we'll say true, and then plt.chill. And this should plot our graph, assuming that there's been no issues. And awesome, you can see PPF over here. So what we have is the cumulative probability over here, and then we have our data values, which range from negative three all the way up to four, although we don't hit four with the values, I believe in this here. But so let's say you wanted to go to 0 0.4 in this cumulative probability go over here, and you can see it is slightly under zero. So you can see that if we grab a data point, right, 40% probability that is gonna be less than this value, which we can, let's say, assume is gonna be like negative 0 0.2 or something like that. And as we get closer to one, right, we go up quite a bit. We're getting towards those values that are greater than outliers. And then the same down below over here when we get closer to zero probability. And uh, yeah, that's essentially PPF, right? So just to recap this video, calculate your PPF pretty easily. You can go over here, use scipy norm.ppf. You put in your decimal value of that percentage location and your scale, uh, location being your mean, your scale being your standard deviation. You can also do this in NumPy uh, through percentile. So you can do that. And you can also plot this out. Um, not as much of an easy option to plot this out like with, we did in the last video with Seaborn, but uh, matplotlib kind of makes it easy once you build out this line of code. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on the percent point function and you learned it something new. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. One of my goals is to reach 100,000 subscribers in 2025. And the only way to do that is by uploading three different data science focus videos every single week. Now, if you wanna continue learning more about statistics within data science, I have a few videos linked down below in the description, as well as a playlist that I'm developing right over here.